I was able to get a one-on-one -on -one interview. In 1974, a young News 8 reporter named Dick Hawksworth was given a plum assignment, interview the champ. Reporters came to find out about the upcoming fight with George Foreman. When the media event wrapped up, Dick got some news every reporter dreads. When my photographer said, uh, we have nothing, we have absolutely nothing of the news conference, the camera had jammed. And when he opened the camera case, the film looked like spaghetti. At that instant, Ali and his trainer walked out of a nearby cabin. Dick explained his situation. The trainer said no more questions, but Ali said, This young man has a problem and I think we can help him out. So he said, go ahead, ask your questions. So I did. I fired question after question. And when it was over, he said, well, I'm going to go do this radio interview. But if there's anything else you need, you come and get me. And I remember thinking as I watched him walk away, how kind, how gracious, and how considerate he was. And I remember thinking, yeah, you are the greatest. Now, many of us who interviewed Ali felt that way about him. In the early 80s, I spent a day with him in Deer Lake. He invited me and our PM Magazine crew to have breakfast with his twin daughters. His team took this picture of our interview. Now, remember, this was way back in the day before cell phones. He sent me this color photograph with the inscription, Kimberly, you are the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali. He was quite a class act. So like gentle and funny, like so not what you expect. What wonderful memories you and Dick have. Yeah, it's, it's uh, you guys. was really That's a great. privilege. Yeah, it was really, he really was great. The greatest. Mm -hmm. yeah.